everybody, it is I, Mr. Skids, and welcome back to The Wolf Among Us. As you last left us, we were just about to talk to Jersey and Woody, apparently, because uh, Woody had lost his axe. I'm pretty sure the Tweedles had something to do with it. I'm pretty sure the Tweedles actually stole his axe by the sounds of it. And they're now, uh, pa now using it for their own fucking vile means. So here we go. Let's begin. Not in the first fucking place, huh? <clears throat> I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and walk. Mm. So Hi. Get the fuck out of my sight. It's bricks. See you later. Hey, what's hey, fat going boy. on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. Hey, what asshole. What do you do with it? I'm. How the fuck do I know? I'm with. Oh, oh. You piece of shit. Ooh. You restrain Jersey because he's the fucker. Get up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. Yep. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park just so I can prove to you that your axe isn't here. And you think I'm gonna take another inch of abuse? Are you out of your fucking mind? Trust me, you do not want to go there. And yeah, asshole. You're going Back to get your ass. Off. I just want what's mine. My axe. You I can tell you where it is. But I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh my god. A little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. You're... Oh. You know what? Oh, time to beat the fuck out of you! I'm gonna smash your head so fucking hard right into that fucker. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Why not work together? Uh oh. Ah! Uh, oh no! Oh god, he's horrifying. Oh shit, fuck. Help Woody, help Woody, help Woody. No, punt. It's good. Yeah. Go on. Try to stop me. Yeah, let's, let's, uh, let's, uh, oh. Yeah, get him, Big B. There she is. Yeah, get it. Fucking pound his ass! Pound his ass like he's in fucking prison! Ah, oh, goddammit. He's a lot stronger than I thought he'd be. Oh! You ready for those quick time events? Ooh! Get him! Punch him down! Kick his ass! He dodged. Alright, uh, ah! Yes! Yes! Kick his ass! Fucker! Oh, and that's stolen from, that's a headless horseman statue. Ooh, you dirty motherfucker. Uh, yeah, no, this is going to end very badly for you, Jersey Devil. Really bad. Nice. Thanks, Woody. Uh, the anvil! Raw, Drop that motherfucker like it's hot! Yeah! Yeah! Mother fudger! Whew. That was intense. That was awesome, too. Piece of shit. Wait, 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 wait. Don't, don't, don't kill him. Don't kill him. We need information from him. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything. 
do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. I no got you, not. babe. Who is really running this town? Nothing. I still have you, don't I? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Are you oh, sure about that? The door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. Ooh. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. <laughs> why just tell me this? Yeah, why are you telling me this? You're trying to rush me out of here. I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not going to help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. You think so? Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's going to do you any good. That's what you think. Anything? Crane's coat. Oh, I... What? Well. Okay, that did a weird thing there. Uh, what do we got in Crane's pockets? Crane, what did you have? No oh. time for traveler's checks, huh? <laughs> a big wad of money. You won't be needing this anymore. Yes. <laughs> that look on Bigby's face, oh god. I don't think he... Oh. That sick piece of... Oh god. He still had that piece. He took that from the goddamn gl uh, glamour. The shard. It's the shard. He I found mean. found the shard piece. Nice. Yes. Thanks, Jersey. Hey, Sheriff. What do you want? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. And he sure as shit is ready for you. Well, if he's ready for me... Out of smoke? Let's, uh... Giving, give him something that he isn't expecting then, huh? Sure, yeah. Give him one. You probably won't want it, but... Huff and puff and whatnot. But, Woody... You're about the only person I have a friend in this goddamn hellhole right now. <laughs> I knew he was gonna say that. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. I can understand why, but man, I gave you some a lot of opportunities, so don't be giving me none of that crap. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. You got it. Is that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. You're damn right, right, Woody. Go do it then. Thanks, Woody. Oh, that's that was next to the trip trap. We were next to the trip trap the entire time. You gonna be okay? Hey, Woody. Yeah. You gonna, you gonna be okay, man? You gonna be all right? You know me. Yeah, he'll be fine. Uh, bye, uh, Woody. Take care of yourself, man. I really do like you, even if you... Uh, you're very human, you're very down-to-earth, and I feel bad for you because... Yeah, life has not been very easy for you. Ah, oh, back into the... Back, 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 back in business. We're back in business. Who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. 
You guys need to calm down. Higby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. Lockin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> I don't know if that's the full piece. They're swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it, and that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Okay, Buffkin, what do you need? Is it no, not no the right more, piece? Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why'd you put the herd on Flycatcher? Yeah. Hiding something down at the Tweedles? Or was it just for fun? He oh. worked for them, didn't he? I couldn't be sure that he wasn't involved. And I didn't want him interfering. I was simply endeavoring to make the search a speedy one. Surely you of all people can't fault me for getting overzealous in the process. I You're an die. asshole. Yeah. You're an asshole. I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're going to have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. You you are I covering so enjoy our talks. Bluebeard with bated breath. You're an asshole. I understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be... <gasps> it was in Mary's hands! Helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had uh, some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. Heh. <laughs> a kind of an ironic thing. Fixed? Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Blue, give me a sec. Bluebeard is covering something up. That's why he went to the Tweedle's office. I guarantee he's covering something up. He's trying to cover his own ass so nobody finds out he's probably working for the crooked man. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I, I can't for take those two right I now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there the bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? It's because they're petty. You I'm sorry. some help over there? Yeah, thanks. They're Go very petty. But just so you know... We can't pay him. He Why really not? needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Why? We can't do this. We can't just keep sending him to the farm. Peep this is why everything's such a mess. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I know. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the crooked man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? We my don't have it. Total, the gaping maw in my wall. Any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. 
just what's right. I need it, Big B. Here, Toad. Have Here. Crane's money. Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the farm is always on the table. Yeah. But of course. But you won't. I know you, Toad. You're a belligerent bastard. <laughs> that little hop. He was so happy. Oh, look at him whistle. Ha <laughs> ha, he's so cute. Uh-oh, oh, I... You want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I yes. Mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Look, I'll take care of it later. I told him we'd work it out so he'd get out of our hair. Yeah, that's true. don't have time true. to worry about that right now. Bigby, what did I tell you? If he's unglamoured when this whole thing is over, I'll send him to the farm. No questions asked, okay? <sighs> Fine, we'll deal with it later. I know Sorry. I should be asking. I probably could have handled that better. Like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. But someone did. Something what about control. Person do that. What could those girls have done? If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop. The magic he peddles. Chains. Ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. Good. I have to say I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry. I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror. We're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Hmm. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. Yeah, it's, I'm curious. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, oh God. I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Not Wait Bloody Mary. Someone's watching. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. Turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Turn it off! Turn it off, turn it off! What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. That's not so, good. Let's not do that again. Okay. She knows. She knows we're watching like her now. To track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <sighs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So where does crooked man hang out? I don't recognize the door, but that's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. What'd I tell you? Yeah. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I'll catch him and bring him back here, alive. Then we can clean him and cook him together. Good. I have enough to worry God about here while I prepare the case against him. Can so I at least kill Bloody Mary? This properly. That is... If you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Hmm. 
So I'm guessing yes. Oh man, Bigby's on the run. There's the door. Oh boy. There's that cat. Oh, here. That's it, all right. Okay, okay. We open the door slowly. Make sure we don't fuck up things. Oh my goodness. This is it. This is the way to see the crooked man. We're off to see the crooked man. Oh boy. Suddenly we teleported five feet back. Fifteen feet back even. Oh my. Oh boy. What's going on? It's more like a castle than anything else. Tim. Tiny Tim! How are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call. He was expecting so thanks for not giving me a hard time. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. Oh, no. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get sorry, into Tim. Fine. Lead on. Sorry, Tim. I know this must be not the easiest thing for you. Oh God, why, 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 why is this happening? Why does he know? I'm not. I'm understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort, for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. <laughs> I thought it was a joke, actually. I'm an easy target. I get it. You have a job to do, but you yeah. gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Yeah. Do Whatever you, really... you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Man. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other... The rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy? Maybe not, but you don't wanna be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Yes, wait for him. I couldn't, Thanks. there's no way. Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you, eh? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate, I ain't scared of you. Tell me who the so fuck is back I there. Problem. I, I don't exactly know. I, I just mind the door. I might cream the boss is him. there. I'm sure he will prove himself much. quite handy to have in my pocket. I that... he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed, skinned, Tweedles. and made into a rug for me to wipe his shoes off. He's right. He was fine when Crane was smoothing things over, but this guy off his leash is a whole other barrel of crap that I don't want to do. Jersey. Well, that's it then. Let's slip the dogs of war. Hmm? None of you can see fit to stare him down. The best outcome you can picture is having him dead. I like to think a little bigger than that. You're not frightened, are you? Yeah, it's easy for you to say. He didn't pull the claws out we of you. We'll tame the rope. Like Crane, he will eventually be of more use to us alive. Well, I don't like it. It's not for you to like. Excuse me, but I have a job to do. Sorry, but uh, I needed to hear that. Sheriff Wolf, sir. 
Hi, friends! Hello. All my good friends are here! Yeah, you best I not... Him. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Oh, God, that's the bit. crooked man? You did well. You can go now. Uh, Thank you, sir. Oh, God, uh, Tim, what the hell is that? You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. I feel a bit... Mm. Let's, uh, let's be the badass and uh, have a little bit of a smoke, huh? Let's have a smoke while we have a little discussion, huh? Be the badass. So... Oh... I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. God damn. Oh no! That's the end of the episode! Farm you send, did send Colin. Only 85.5 players decided Colin should not go to the farm. He shouldn't! Did you attempt to remove uh, Nerissa's ribbon? Uh, 63.8 of players did not try to remove a ribbon. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? 63% of players went to the cut above first. So, uh, I seem to have been doing quite, uh, quite a bit of the si similar stuff, except for this one. Uh, did you send Toad to the farm? Uh, 73% of you players did not put him into the farm and how did the crooked man respond to the, how did you respond i smoked a cigarette and only 43 percent of people did that so that was an interesting choice so it was ow ow uh ow okay that was painful in my ear holes and my i, I okay i do believe that is the end of episode four yes that's the end of episode four and I, if I remember right, episode five isn't out yet. I think it still hasn't come out. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to do a real quick check. But it seems like Crooked Man wants to use me just like he uses everybody else. Which it ain't happening, bruh. Ain't happening. Crooked Man, you're going down, brother. And if I have to keep goddamn my promise to Snow White, sure, I'll keep my promise to Snow White and keep you him alive, but I sure as hell ain't keeping a murderous monster like fucking, um, uh, Bloody Mary alive. If I can get a chance, she dead. She is a dead bitch. Because she is a monster. She's a, just as mo a monster as fucking Crooked Man. Crooked Man is just a piece of shit scum lord who thinks of himself as the Mafia, who wants to control the entirety of Fable Town, which he does. He do he pretty much controls almost everything. However, Bloody Mary, even if you get rid of the Crooked Man, Bloody Mary will always be there, and she has powers that that give her way too much strength. Uh, they she's way too strong. She's a psychopath. And I don't like her running free at all. Plus, she w kills children. She fucking kills children. She needs to die. 
She needs to die and then die again. She needs to die twice. That's how bad she needs to die. So, um... Yeah, based on the Vertigo comic books, I would love to read those by Bill Willingham. I need to, I would love to find those and read those. Those sound awesome. So let me check really quick to see if there is an episode 5. There is an episode 5, but that seems to be the last episode. So, I will be playing Cry Wolf after this. Uh, and we, well, after this, of, of course, well, uh, I, I'm gonna play Cry Wolf as soon as I can. I, I love this game series. It's so, so, oh, so good. It's so gritty. It's like sand pouring down my face, and I love it. I love it. So, uh, I will hopefully see you all next time for Crying Wolf. See you guys. Bye! <laughs>